Hey Virgo, it's Tuesday. We're going to do your reading. How are you guys? I'm going to go over the pre-shuffle real quick and then we'll lay out a spread. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It is general, of course. Cannot, will not resonate for everyone. Just take what resonates and leave the rest, please. If you'd like to put your intentions in the comments um, so that they will circulate around you know, the world thousands of times, feel free to do that. I will start the comments off with an intention for all of you. If you don't want to write your own, you can just say I affirm or yes or whatever, you know. Um, I love when you write your own, but if you don't want to write your own, you can just affirm the one that I put in there, okay? And um, so let me show you pre-shuffle. Interesting story here. It's pretty, pretty redundant, though. We've got what looked like to be a very stable beginning, something that you thought was going to be fruitful, I'm feeling. Um, I think it's love, but something that has gone, it's taken a long toll. It's been like a long journey. It has to do with the decision or you're at a decision right now. It looks like you're at a decision of whether you're going to cut something out, speak your truth, that sort of thing. This could have already happened, of course, and you just keep going. If, if it's already happened, you're, you're at a place where you just keep wanting to circle back and, and maybe try and renew it. Um, there could be a, a, a false sense of satisfaction or success by getting, by engaging or interacting with this person again. When, you know, that's kind of a, a just a maybe a dopamine rush or satisfaction, but it's short lived. So be sure be be aware of that. Um, but here we have the we've got the Queen of Swords. Of course, the Queen of Swords is someone who she says it how it is. She knows she wants the truth, the whole truth, and she knows when to cut things out. Okay. Um, followed by the Nine of Wands. Somewhere in here, I felt blessings. I don't know if I'm getting that nine mixed up, but there's nine of wands, so nine, ten of wands. So it's like you get to a place, you make a decision to cut something out, and then you waffle, you kind of backtrack a little bit, and you try and decide whether you want to bring that person back in or accept them back or try to get them back, but then you leave it again. Um, and then this Queen of Wands is pulling some strong energy, so I would have figured out what that is. I'm, I'll clarify, but we have the, confirming it, we have the Two of Pentacles and the Six of Swords again. Leaving a difficult situation. I'm juggling. What do I do? I'm not, you may not be vocalizing it, but you're juggling um, whether or not, yeah, you want a second chance or give them a second chance or try and get them. There's also a feel of trying to get someone to ask you for a second chance. Like maybe if you just say one little thing or, I don't know, something like that. Just don't, just let me remind you guys that, you know, when you are, <clears throat> you don't want to waste your time talking to somebody that's not listening, <laughs> you know? Think about it and try to step away from it and make it and, and think of it clearly. If somebody's not listening to you, stop talking. Look at that. Hangman. And this is lack of interest. Um, because when somebody's not listening, the more we talk, the less they want to listen, you know? Um, sadly, but that's just... Uh, put yourself in the other position. If it, somebody that keeps talking to you and you don't want to listen, you listen less, you know? So... Um, also, if you can get yourself, if you feel positive that this is something that you're supposed to be out of, and maybe you're just struggling with that, once you really detach from somebody that you're detached from, it, you, you really do realize how ordinary they and non-special they, they were, that you actually just, that what was special about them was what you made out of them, you know, what you felt, what you visualized glamorized devil devil card and um, addictions talk something toxic Capricorn energy okay so there could be an addiction with the nine of cups those together could indicate somebody self-medicating or drinking too much partying too much something like that okay um, <clears throat> blocked 
I'm feeling a strong, like, blessing in disguise type energy. Not, may not even be in disguise, but something you don't want to accept, but is for your best. Look at that. And then we've got the reconciliation card again. Second chances. Judgment. Judgment also is, you know, it's Phoenix rising, rising up from the ashes. Sometimes when we hit rock bottom, it, it's, it's like we get to a pain level or discomfort level that's so stark that we get, we, it like lights a fire under us. You know what I mean? Um, and then we become our, or actually we reinvent and become, it's, it's kind of weird right now. It seems like there's this emphasis in the, in the world of, you know, not being comfortable. I don't, or being uncomfortable is a bad thing. Being uncomfortable is a bad thing if you stay there, but it's, it's there to cause change right so it's supposed to be a beneficial thing but you gotta you know make change out of it let's see what that is yeah but look at that the chariot that is big change it looks like you maybe blocked or somebody blocked you there looks like there's an addiction or an overindulgence issue and the outcome is freaking beautiful i mean look at that You've got independence and wealth, blessings. I think I said that earlier. I was feeling blessings. You've got a re, re, uh, in, you know, reinventing yourself or <clears throat> second chances. We'll have to dive in deeper to that. And then you have the chariot card, which is chariot is perseverance. Look at that wealth, having enough to give to share. You're going to be rewarded for not uh, for not circling back to toxic situation. The, the worst thing you want to do is after you've been able to separate, clear your mind from or clear your space from something toxic, is after you've done all that work, is to go back because it does just keep getting better. Let's see. Tell me about this. Um, okay, there it came out again. I tried to put that back. Did y'all see it flip? So this is very, very boldly saying that you have a decision to make and look at the look at the top bottom two cards this probably what this is azul i'm feeling blue strong blue of course my nails are blue and this is blue but feeling strong blue so blue might be significant for somebody we've got the king of swords air sign maybe but this is all about a decision. You can, you know, travel the path that is going to take you to success and glory and victory, or you can stay in a sad place. Um, there might be an energy, let me see, something about your actions align, like do your actions, look at that. Are your actions aligned? There's some sort of dissatisfaction, or maybe are your actions aligned with your values? That might be causing some discomfort or some dis-ease, dis, dis uneasiness. So are you are maybe there's something about chasing like an artificial or just a quick fix, like First of all, if you guys are sitting, you know, if you guys are not eating well, that's number one for me. I know it changes as you, when you're young, it changes when you get older, it gets more, it gets more and more so. But if, think about your fuel. If you're feeding your mind with, you know, TikToks that, or little things that give you quick dopamine releases but are not really earned, that's going to put you on a, on a, it's going to mess up your hormones. Also, food. If you're not fueling your body with healthy things, you're not gonna, going to perform and feel better. I think somebody's hormones are way out of whack. So health, health is health is huge right now. We're in this world where there's a lot of um, just, seems like it's so easy to get depressed. I think it has a lot to do with the, the 
the dopamine overloads from you know being on our phones. You might need to detox. Okay, we're gonna switch decks. So we've got the moon upside down. Somebody probably needs to get more sleep. Okay, let's lay out a full spread. Um, tell me Virgo's current energy right now. There it is, judgment. So somebody is coming back around or you're having a major blow up, like the blow up of your life. Uh, what's overall? Wow, wow, the world, strength. Virgo, you are on the verge of it. Seriously, on the verge of greatness here. I just think you're having to cut somebody out. That's not easy, but it's about to get better. But I want to know what's coming. Um, what's coming for Virgo? Oops, too many. Justice. Everything's going to get turned around. Justice is um, balance. You've got four major arcana. You're struggling to let go or to stay on track and stay on on pace of something that you are moving towards, like freedom of maybe it's freedom of a of an addiction or a toxic habit, something like that. Maybe you're at a little bit of a lull. But just remember, everybody who ever became great had those. It's just part of the journey. But it's persevering through those things that get us to where we want to go. Taking the appropriate action. Rewarding yourself. It's the journey. Like, along the way is important. Did you guys know that dopamine release, dope, just as much dopamine gets released um, when we take action towards a goal as it does when we actually complete a goal? How crazy is that? And I keep feeling love. This looks like money. I mean, it looks like life in general. Let's see what that is. It's spam. I can't believe how much my phone goes off now from just spam. I feel like love is coming. Look at that Knight of Cups. Love is coming. Tell me more about the Knight of Cups. Also, when you release this, whatever it is, it's upsetting. Um, it makes space for somebody new. Happiness. You guys have something amazing coming. It looks like it might involve um, an in, in a engagement. This is celebration, friends. That's a high-level relationship. You got one coming, but you gotta stay on. Get the, you gotta get through the hard part. I think is what this is. What this is implying. The hard part of. Pay attention to red flags. Um, the hard part of of getting out of a difficult situation or pushing through a difficult situation. Yeah, look at that. For yourself, it's time to take back control of your life you've got attraction you attract love by enjoying this moment fully i'm kind of feeling playfulness look at that you've got the love of your life i think is coming but you gotta let go of what's not a fit this is very strong about forward movement movement chain big changes are coming and it looks like it has to do with um I mean, maybe it's a return from the past because we do have a lot of judgment, but um, what is super clear here is letting go of whatever's talk holding you back. Oh, so you do have someone from your past returning. Because I kept, I kept le starting to say, let this person go, let this person go, somebody new, somebody new, but I kept catching myself on the somebody new. It, it, it's not totally somebody new. Well, I don't know. I mean, it's, there's so many of you, it could go either way, but it, for a lot of you, there is somebody from your past returning. Oh, it says past life. I don't know, your true major soulmate is coming. I told you guys how crazy you got wedding and engagement so whatever you're dealing with that's super difficult 
it's it, it's it's once it's let go of you've got good things ahead it feels like you're struggling and you want to go back but stay on task just remember just weather through the down dips the hard stuff because it will come back up okay and the path gets easier it's gonna ebb and flow it's never you're never gonna get in a place where it's only good in life period you there's always gonna be those those down dips for growth okay let me see if I can get um, one of these little tea cards Time to go out and have some fun. We felt that earlier too with honor and respect will come to you. We've had that earlier with this. So grapes. All right. Virgo, I love you so much. Let me know in the comments. Um, put your, in, your, just say hi if you want. I'd love to hear where you guys are watching from. Um, also do a thumbs up please to help the video get in circulation if you haven't yet and I love you guys and I will see you soon bye you got great things coming this is amazing okay and I don't even know if I emphasize that enough you've got amazing things coming the major major arcana here major sun call we got the sun twice we got judgment we got um, reconciliation it's like a whole new you the best you yet Okay, and something very, um, some, some destiny with an engagement and a, and a wedding coming. All right, I love you guys. Bye, Virgo.